Bonjour and bienvenue to Duolingo French. On this channel, we do one French lesson each and every day. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not able to post it each and every day, but it is done each and every day. Uh, I do apologize about uh, my recording schedule getting a little bit behind, but every time the video like glitches out and um, I end up with like multiple parts that I have to like um, combine and sometimes that takes me longer than it really should. So I do apologize about that, but here we are. Now I wanted to take a look at the league while you were sleeping uh, or maybe awake, I don't know. Um, I was able to get us back within the top seven, which is in the promotion zone. As you see, uh, we have nine hours left and we are in sixth place, but there are a, a few people, at least the top nine, who are all within striking distance. So I will do my best after this lesson is over to um, make sure that I uh, keep an eye on that. And hopefully by the end of the day or less nine hours, so about uh, about 1030, um, it will um, we will still be in there. We will still be in the top seven. So. All right, we're going to check to see if we have any achievements. We don't at the moment, but look where we are here for the Sage achievement. Get 2000 XP. We only need a 0.1 K, so we probably will get that before um, the end of the day. Definitely before, probably by the end of this lesson. OK, and I say let's get started. Actually, I don't think we have this chest anymore. Nope. Um, we did have a, a chest. Uh, to uh, early bird chest or a night owl chest, one to two. Uh, but it looks like it's lost because you had to use it by noon. So I think that was a night owl chest. So that's all right. C'est une pizza. C'est une pizza. Un croissant. Un croissant. Une pizza. Une pizza. Une pizza. This is where I'll give the disclaimer. I am a beginning French learner, so do not take any of my pronunciations. Make sure um, you are using French native speakers or someone who is uh, much further advanced in French um, as a pronunciation guide. Mange. Tu manges une pizza? Tu manges une pizza. Tu manges une pizza. Tu manges une orange. Un croissant et une orange. Un croissant et une orange. Tu manges une pizza. Un garçon mange une orange. Un garçon mange une orange. Tu manges un croissant. 
you see here i <laughs> i think this is on me uh, well it's always on me especially when it comes to pronunciation but i paused after the mange to think is it uh i knew it was uh but for some reason un was in there as well uh so i paused and i think that's what caused it to put ah uh. so we're gonna do it again to mange a croissant nope one more time we'll try one more time to mange a croissant okay no matter what i say i cannot get it to trigger so we'll just type it in make sure that when you are are doing uh, the speaking exercises uh that you are checking uh, what it what it wrote down because duolingo will get it wrong a lot um Sometimes based on your pronunciation of the words, I mean, as beginning learners, you're going to have that problem. But I have known that some native speakers have said it can't pick it up when I say it, it as well. Now, I don't think I'm in that group. OK, but um, that is just something to be aware of. Oh. Oh. Okay, we finished the lesson. Got 15 total XP. Got the quick uh, result for four minutes and 32 seconds. I think it's committed once you get to five minutes. Um, then you have like quick and speedy. That's like one minute, two minutes, things of that nature. And we got the amazing uh, because it was a perfect lesson. Get more and with Super Duolingo. Ad. Go ad free and skip the interruptions to focus on your learning. Unlock unlimited hearts and make as many mistakes as you need. And you can target weaknesses in your practice hub with AI-powered practice sets based on your recent mistakes. Okay. So we needed to earn 50 XP today. Uh, so far, we've done 30 XP. Um, read one story and then score 80% or higher in six lessons. So we didn't do any of the daily achievements today. That's okay. Uh, I might do some of that offline uh, as I <laughs> as I uh, strive to keep us within the is this Sapphire League the Sapphire League promotion zone. Um, as you see here, we moved up a little, and since we're online, you see the the uh, green dot um, as well. So uh, you can see most people are not online at the present moment. We are all alone in our league uh, for being online. Uh, you see there is a huge gap between us and fifth place. Um, but uh, you see that between us and ninth place, it's pretty tight. So like I said, I will definitely be keeping my eye on it. Um, again, we are here to learn. That is the most important thing. Um, I would I'd rather have conversations in French than being at the top of the leaderboards, but it also can be fun. And for some folks who are who are very competitive, it can also be the way that they learn best. Everybody has a different learning style uh, and I'm trying to accommodate everyone's learning style here on this channel. Um, let's check our achievements because I'm sure we did it. We did the Sage achievement, so we'll claim that reward. You earn 2000 XP, only 23.6% of learners earn this achievement. And we get 25 gems and boy, do we ever need it. <laughs> if we're ever going to be able to uh, do the mini games over and over again, we're gonna need lots and lots of gems, okay? All right, and in this uh, lesson, I am not going to do any uh, mini games because the mini games are the ramp it up challenge and it costs 30 gems per each ramp it up. So uh, it would cost about 240 gems for us to get all the way to 40 XP. And that's not the best usage of our gym. So if um, I did mention this in the last uh, lesson, that if you are um, looking for the best usage of your gyms, uh, you wanna save it for um, the lightning round because you get 40 XP for uh, 30 gems. And if you're in a um, two XP, you get the two XP bonus, you can get 80 XP for 30 gems. That's the best usage um, if you want to play it as a game and you don't want to get the Super Duolingo. Obviously, Super Duolingo, you can do as many as you want and you don't have to worry about gems at all. 
Um, the other way to to really boost up your XP is at the top of the screen, you see where we have five hearts and you go to practice to earn hearts. And I showed you this in the last lesson here. This will give you 15 XP and it's totally free. Um, so if you can get a two XP boost then that can give you 30 XP for free. So that's also a, a good usage. Um, well, it's a, the best usage because it's free. Um, and these will you also need if you ever run out of hearts, anytime you get a question wrong, um, and you're not on Duolingo um, Super, Super Duolingo, uh, you lose a heart. If you lose all five hearts, then you can no longer do any lessons and you have to wait for the hearts to um, replenish. And I think it takes six hours per heart. But if you do those lessons there, you get one heart by the end of the lesson uh, for each lesson. So definitely keep those in mind. And they're also a good strengthening exercises as well. Okay, so we got the 33 day streak now it didn't show us like uh get the little fire uh for this lesson because i had already done a lesson today as i was trying to get us within that promotion zone <laughs> so i apologize you did not get to see that today but that is the reason why all right so i'm not going to hold you any longer i thank you for joining me remember that god loves you and so do i and i look forward to seeing you tomorrow a demain.